What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we will be doing a six model unboxing. Um, this is some of the models from the giveaway as well as another one that I have purchased or actually I won from another giveaway. Um, so we'll dive straight into this unboxing. We're going to be starting off with this new company today. This is the Thai 737-400, um, I believe. Um, this is by Miniature Models. This is a new company, as I mentioned. Um, they just started about a month or two ago, I believe, and they are starting to produce more models, um, which I have noticed on the Midwest Model Store, which is very cool. So we'll dive straight into it. I'm just gonna briefly go over the box. I do really like this. I can see the theme of going with more detailed boxes that Gemini Jess does not do. Because you can see the, I believe this is Thailand. Um, there's cityscape in the background with the tail. And it says one for 100 scale. And then of course, Thai right there. Then on the side, it says the item number, the um, airline logo, the aircraft registration and scale. Um, so it's nothing too fancy, but I do really like the front of the box having the background of Thailand. Here is the aircraft overall. You can see the new livery, which is on the aircraft, and we will now get into a more detailed review. One thing I did want to say about this company is their models are extremely detailed. Like this is NG model level. Um, you can see up front we do have the cockpit, I mean, the, sorry, the nose cone, as well as the cockpit windows and sort of that um, lower brow thing, the black on the aircraft. And of course, the Star Alliance logo and a bunch of other stuff that's a little too small to read. Then we have the wheel cover as well as the first wheel and the first door as well as the evacuation slide. Then we have the Thai logo. And moving further along, um, you can see what I mean by the detail. You have the overwing exits on both sides, which is a total of four overwing, eight total. And of course you have this little cutout right here. That is so micro tiny, but the details really do add up and matter in all model companies. So I would like to say that this is NG model detail. Um, there's a bit of detail on the wings as well. Um, probably need to work on that. I do believe this is the mold of Panda models and they paid to borrow it, I believe. I could be wrong, but uh, moving further along, we have, of course, a new livery. So the purple, red, gold, and white. And the registration, which is AS-TDH. Um, very detailed. We'll keep moving on to the back. Then you have the Thailand flag up top, as well as their logo on the tail. Everything is die cast. This is not plastic on the back like some Gemini jets are. Then we have, of course, the last door. Taking a quick look at the bottom, um, there is quite a bit of detail. It's a little hard to see, but there is quite a bit of detail right here as well as some antennas. And the wheel wells, of course, another antenna. And the cargo hatches, you can see. So yeah, the bottom is very detailed. Um, the top, of course, you do have a few antennas as well as the beacon light. Um, so overall, this is a very detailed model. Then of course, moving on to the next model, we have a fan favorite here, which is the Southwest 737-800 Freedom 1 livery by NG Models, as you can see down here. We do have the aircraft um, computer generated with the American flag going across it. Personally, this is my favorite model I've ever received. Um, I think the detail is astonishing. Um, at the bottom you have the Southwest logo, the 50 years, one heart, and the registration. Because they do call this Freedom One, but this is their 50th anniversary logo. Or, I guess, detail, or livery, whatever you want to call it. Then we have the Boeing 737-800, Southwest Airlines, 50 years, one heart, that's what I was talking about, their slogan. Then the NG Models logo down here. Then of course we have the computer generated aircraft again and the registration. So this box is very detailed as I did mention about the other model, miniature models. 
Um, the trend of doing detail on the box is arising. Here is the overview of the aircraft. As you can see, very detailed. You have the stars and the stripes, the stars in the front and the stripes in the back, doing a wavy tail like it's actually um, windy and moving the flag. Um, I do really love this livery, so let's get a closer look. All right, starting off our review, we have the nose cone, and then I believe it says Freedom One right there with the cockpit windows. Uh, moving further along, we have the first wheel cowling and then the actual first wheel. Then we have the L1 boarding door with the heart logo next to it. And then this kind of starts off the stars and stripes like on the American flag, 50 stars and I believe 13 stripes. Um, so moving further along, of course Southwest doesn't have any first class so this would all be economy. Um, very detailed as you can see. Moving further along, you can see the blue on the engine from the stripes, or excuse me, the stars. And then you can see the stripes kind of start on the back of the engine as well as over the wing exits. You do have two over wing exits on both sides with the antenna up here. And um, we do have the red wheels. That's something that Southwest has on their actual aircraft and NG models did a good job representing it. You can see a few antennas on the bottom there. Um, of course, we have the split scimitar winglets with the beacon light or the navigation light, excuse me, on the back. Moving further along, we do have the Wi-Fi box or Wi-Fi dome, another antenna then the registration, which we already went over on the back of the aircraft, as well as the back door. Um, of course, all metal on NG models. They don't mess around and do plastic. Then we have the new tail of Southwest Airlines that they do on all of their special liveries. You can see that right here. And that does conclude this aircraft. Here is the bottom. Um, nothing too special. You can just see the stars with the heart logo right here Then you can see the stripes kind of going down the back of the aircraft You do have that red wheel as I did mention on both sides split scimitar winglets some more antennas the wheel wells and the red slats I believe is what those are called. Well, it's a part of the flap, but um, The slats are actually in the front. So yeah, that is at the back of the aircraft or the bottom and then the top is nothing too special. Moving on to a more generic box. This is by Aero Classics. You have the all blue in the front and then the um, American A321 stand up to cancer on the side and then just blue on the other sides. So I'm sure Aero Classics will pick up the trend of doing detail on the box, but for now they're keeping it nice and clean. Here is a overview of the aircraft. This aircraft has become extremely rare, as well as the NG models one. Um, so it's pretty hard to find, but to the lucky winner that won this model, congratulations. And we'll dive into a more in-depth review. One thing about Aero Classics model compared to the NG one that is in this livery is this is a more like metallic or sparkly gray. Um, and the NG1 was more of a matte gray. And the NG1 is, of course, more accurate and more detailed, but this is still an amazing model nevertheless. We'll start off with the nose cone, and then the cockpit windows. Um, there is no wheel slats on the Aero Classics, but here is the landing gear. Um, then we do have the first door with the American logo going across the about a half of the aircraft or a third then it's hard to see but right here we do have the second door which would be used for economy um, typically they don't put the jet bridge on the second door but I guess it's possible if needed moving further along uh, many people do have questions about what these arrows are and I guess you need to understand the stand up part, so stand up for cancer. And actually something really cool about this is all of these arrows have people's names on it, I believe that had cancer um, and beat it. 
Um, so that's really neat. Or maybe it's a memorial for the people that did not beat it. But either way, it's hard to see, but there is like thousands of names all over these arrows of people that had cancer. Uh, moving further along, we do have the third door. There's nothing too special about the wings. I'm sure you can see. Um, not really any detail on them except the flaps and the slats, I guess. So nothing too detailed about that. But moving further along, you do see the stand up to cancer livery. Um, as well as it does say America down here. Yes. Or just the American flag down here. Then we have the last door and the American flag, of course, on the American logo. I'm not sure if they're going to put the, um, you know how American is putting the logo on the winglets now. I'm not sure if they're doing that for every aircraft, but I would imagine they are doing so. Overall, I'd rate this aircraft about an 8 out of 10. Um, I do love the detail, but it does need a little bit more of it. So that does conclude the American A321 Stand Up to Cancer. The fourth model we have, um, this is a model I won from a giveaway, more specifically Red River Aviation's giveaway, so huge shout out to him for hosting that. It is the US Air Force C-32, which is the modified version of the 757, just more beefed up I guess you could say. And following the trend of doing detail on the box, you do have the U.S. Air Force logo with the U.S. Air Force at the bottom. Um, then U.S. Air Force, the registration, a bunch of legal stuff. Then NG models and 1400 scale collectible model die cast metal. Um, the size, there's nothing too special about it. They don't do the... Um, computer generated aircraft on this particular side so nothing too special about that but then they do do it on this side it's pretty hard to see as the whole aircraft is white but it is a different tint of white than the box so it's a little easier to see with the registration and yeah so that about covers the box nothing too special as it is a all-white aircraft here is a overview of the aircraft as you can imagine, it is extremely difficult to do a ton of detail on an aircraft when it is a all-white aircraft such as this one, but it is still detailed on the tops and bottoms and sides, wings, etc. So we will dive straight into the full depth review. Starting us off at the front, of course, we have the nose cone and the cockpit windows. I don't want to go over all of this and bore you, but here's the first door the first landing gear and the US Air Force logo is right behind or below the windows and we have the second door um, it's a little hard to see but there's a beacon light up here and a antenna um, I have never seen this aircraft in real life but um, I have seen pictures of it so I'm sure it's pretty spectacular to see in real life Kind of like the Air Force One, or I guess it's Air Force Two, 757. Then we have the Euro White engines with the entire Euro White body. Uh, I won't bore you with the details, but we do have the all gray on the wings, um, a darker gray up front, and a lighter gray on the back. Then the back of the aircraft, you have the Wi Fi dome, or the Wi Fi box, whatever you want to call it, the antenna over here, and the US Air Force logo with the registration and the all white tail. Um, you can, it's hard to see on camera, but you can see some of the detail from the wing, I mean, from the tail, like um, the avionics of it. So um, it is a bit hard to see, but this is still nevertheless a fantastic model. And I'll be rating this a nine out of 10 because NG models did a great job doing detail, even when it is very difficult to do so. Here is a quick overview of the aircraft. Um, of course, Delta Airlines is a mostly Euro white livery. I do have a presumption that Delta is gonna change their livery in the coming years and make it something more special than the all white with the tail and the winglets blue and engines blue. I'm not saying it's a bad livery, but I do have a presumption that they will try to do that in the future. But here is a overview of the Delta A330-300 by NG Models.
This model is absolutely humongous for a 1 for 100 scale. Um, I believe it goes about the whole width of my hand and even more. Um, as you can see, pretty big aircraft. I do have pretty big hands as well. Um, Turkish Airlines, the 777-300ER, I believe in the new livery. Um, and we will dive straight into the review. Of course, this is one of the longest aircrafts in the world. Just like Delta, this is a mostly Euro white aircraft. Um, it's still cool though. I do really like the small details on the back that we'll get into shortly. But here's the cockpit windows, the nose cone, the Star Alliance logo. Turkish Airlines is a part of the Star Alliance, um, as well as a bunch of other airlines like United and some other ones as well. And then on the top, we do have the Wi-Fi dome as well as a few um, antennas. We do have two Wi-Fi domes on this aircraft for, I guess, all the passengers because I think this can fit about 450 people. I could be mistaken. Um, let me know in the comments if you do know. Here's the wheel well with the first landing gear. And, of course, we do have the Turkish first class product up front here and I'd imagine even some right here then we do have the turkey flag right here moving further along it is kind of a like light gray tan kind of at the bottom of the aircraft the belly of it um, and then this was the gray things that I was talking about on the back I'm not exactly sure what that is, so if you do know, please let me know. Then we have the absolutely huge General Electric engines right here. Then we do have the three different landing gears, which comes to a total of nine on each side, which is 18, and then plus two in the front is 20 wheels. Quick math right there. Then we do have the one overwing exit. You can see the detail on the overwing exit. Um, just like Gemini Jets does, of course. Um, moving further along, we do have the um, slanted wings just a little bit. Not like the Dreamliner, of course. Then, of course, we do start the um, sort of the light gray decaling going on in the back. As well as another door, the Wi-Fi box, and a few more antennas towards the back. Um, here is the back. You can see the Turkish Airlines logo on the tail with the horizontal stabilizers, which are a gray, light gray, kind of like the wings. I'll show it off really quick. And then we have the very pointy APU at the back of the aircraft. Um, so yeah, very detailed aircraft overall. I will try to show off the bottom really quick, but it is a big aircraft. I don't want to scratch it. Um, there's the belly, if it'll focus. There we go. There is the belly that I was talking about, that light gray, or even um, kind of like a tannish. I don't know, it's hard to see in person, but or over the camera, but in person you can see it. Um, we do have quite a bit of detail on the wheels. So you can see, um, they do tilt forward and backward and move forward. Um, something that Gemini Jets does not really do. Then we have the Turkish Airlines logo and the flaps and slats on the front. So that does conclude the Turkish 777-300. That does conclude this six model unboxing with the Thai 737-400 by Miniature Models. The NG model 737-800 Freedom 1, the Aero Classics A321 by American Stand Up to Cancer, the NG models um, US Air Force C32-757, the Phoenix models Turkish Airlines 777-300, and the Delta Airbus A330-300 by NG models. Um, a lot of these models were a part of the giveaway. Um, I am planning to do another one, another giveaway very soon, but I'm going to try to make it international because some people couldn't enter because it wasn't international. Um, but congratulations to all the winners, and all you need to do to enter the giveaway is subscribe. So I will see you guys in the next video, hopefully. 
If you did enjoy this video, please consider subscribing for the giveaway and for more content. Um, there's a ton to get out of it and it's free and it helps support me. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will hopefully see you in the next video. Goodbye.